שלום לכולם, שמי שמעון שוקן, ובווידאו הזה אני הולך לספר לכם על הקורס מערכות דיגיטליות או Digital Systems, שאותו אנחנו מציעים בבית ספר אפי ארזי בסמסטר א'. את הקורס הזה אנחנו מציעים גם בעברית וגם באנגלית, בשתי קבוצות נפרדות, וברשותכם אני הולך לעבור עכשיו לאנגלית כדי לחסוך לי את הצורך להפיק את הסרטון הזה פעמיים. So, uh, dear students, it's a pleasure to introduce you to the course Digital Systems, Marachot Digitaliot, which we are going to offer in uh, uh, semester Aleph at uh, Reichmann uh, University. This course is based on a very popular course called uh, From NAND to Tetris. Maybe you heard about it. And therefore, throughout the video, whenever we say NAND to Tetris, we actually mean uh, the Digital Systems course that you're going to take here at uh, uh, the F.E. Razi School in the upcoming semester. Now, I normally teach this course together with my colleague Ran Navok. Sometimes I teach it, sometimes uh, Ran teaches it. And uh, in the upcoming semester, Ran is going to teach uh, both classes, both in Hebrew and, Engli and in English. Thank you, Shimon. And hi, everyone. As Shimon mentioned, my name is Ran Navok. And I'm uh, very happy and excited to teach this course with Shimon at Reichmann University. 25 years ago, I sat where you guys are sitting as a student at what used to be IDC and now Reichmann University. So it feels a little bit like returning back home. Uh, in the past 25 years, I've been involved in the Israeli high-tech industry, in many roles, many uh, companies, many startups, uh, in the field of semiconductors, uh, software engineering, and fintech. And although many things have changed in the past 20 years um, in hardware and software uh, development, the main ideas and fundamentals concept of how we run and build a digital system remained mostly the same. So what are we going to do in this course? In this course, we're going to build a complete computer digital system hardware and software from the ground up. Sounds complicated? Well, let's see how we're going to build it. Shimon? We begin with the most elementary logic gate known as NAND, and from it, we build a modern general purpose computer called HEC that can run any program that comes to your mind, including, of course, Tetris. And then on top of this hardware platform, we build a software hierarchy consisting of a compiler, a virtual machine, an assembler, and even a small operating system that, taken together, allow you to write programs from this computer using a modern, high-level, object-based language, which is very similar to Java and Python. Now, the hardware projects are done using a hardware description language, which we will teach you during the course, and a hardware simulator, which is a program that will run on your personal computer. And the software projects can be done in any high-level language like Java, Python, Perl, and there are some other options. So this is the overall roadmap of NAND to Tetris. You see the hardware platform at the bottom and the software hierarchy sitting on top of it. And in this picture, you also see the major modules that we build during this course. So what I would like to do next is show you a one minute video clip that focuses on the first six projects of the course. In each project, you have to build a set of chips. And for each such chip, we provide a complete chip specification. And you then have to figure out how to build this functionality using chips that you've built before. But don't worry, you will have to do no soldering whatsoever. Instead, you will build all the chips using a hardware simulator, just like hardware engineers actually do in practice. In the first three projects of the course, we start with the most elementary logic gate called NAND. Using detailed project materials, we will guide you through the process of building a chipset, a central processing unit, and a memory unit. In the next two projects, you will integrate all the chips that you've built before into a complete general purpose computer named HEC. We will then connect the computer to a keyboard and a screen 
and poof, the computer will snap into action. In the last project in the course, we develop an assembler which enables writing programs using symbolic commands rather than binary code. This will allow us to use the hack platform to run all sorts of cool programs like Tetris and practically any other program that comes to you. So once again, here is the overall roadmap of NAND to Tetris. And once we complete building the hardware platform, we go on to construct a modern software hierarchy on top of the hack computer. In particular, we build a compiler for a modern object-based language called Jack. We develop not only the compiler, but also a virtual machine implementation and a basic operating system. Now, this looks like a lot of work, but actually there are quite a few reasons why the NAND to Tetris projects are a lot of fun. First of all, all these projects consist of many small modules. You can develop these modules separately, one step at a time. And when you do that, you follow elaborate class structures and method signatures that we provide. So you don't have to worry about hardware and software design. You have to worry only about the implementation. We also provide elaborate testing materials, test scripts, test programs, and we have a testing server that allows you to test your work as you go along. So you're never left in the dark. We provide a great deal of software and scaffolding and support. So if you want to learn how computers work and how to build complex hardware and software systems and have a lot of fun in the process, please join me and let's build a computer.